Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome back. It's Yoga with Christy, and today we are doing a really quick mini Vinny, a wake up, rise and shine kind of flow. So let's get going. We're not here for long. Let's make it count. Meet me in child's pose. Let those knees be nice and wide. The toes will come together, and you'll just rest your hips down by your heels as your forehead comes to the mat. You'll start to engage a more intentional breath, your ujjayi pranayama, in and out through the nose, filling up, emptying it completely. And just bring a little bit of gratitude for that breath. Bringing the right hand, thread it underneath your left armpit to stretch at the top of that shoulder, keeping the right ear on the mat. And then you'll switch sides. Thread that left hand, palm up, underneath the right armpit. Generous breathing in and out. And you'll come back through center and into your tabletop position and right into your downward facing dog. You can take a little bit of movement here, waking up the back of the legs, keeping the hands pressing forward and down. Back to breath. Reminding yourself that your generous breath is a sign that you are alive and that anything is possible. Feel the strength of your legs and then inhale forward to your high plank pose and you'll take it to exhale to come right back to your down dog. Beautiful work. Let's do that again. Inhale, undulate your spine forward to parallel to the floor and then exhale, sink your heels intentionally as you move back to down dog. Keep flowing like that. Inhale, high plank. This time, knees to the mat, you'll come all the way onto your belly, sweeping the hands behind you, lifting your whole self up. Locust pose, big lift. Every time you inhale, can you lengthen out your spine, reach the toes back, reach the crown forward. Last time, big inhale, hands frame your ribs, and then press through bent knees and come back to your downward facing dog. Then lift your tippy toes, Walk, walk, walk all the way up to the top of your mat. Come into a forward fold, grabbing opposite elbow with opposite hand and give yourself a little shake. Shake your head out, left and right. Sway your torso. You can bend one knee and then the other. Find one part of your body that you were especially grateful for here. And release those hands, heel toe your feet to touch. On your inhale, half lift, fingertips to shins. And then exhale, fold firmly over those legs. Inhale to reach, extended mountain, press down to go up. Hands come through heart center as you breathe out. On your next breath in, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold it, let your head hang heavy. Halfway lift on the inhale breath, belly strong. Exhale to release. Rise up again, extended mountain, fan out the fingers, activate the muscles in your arms. Exhale, swan dive it over the legs. Half lift, long spine, hands to the mat, step it back to a high plank pose. Draw the belly in away from the floor and then exhale, downward facing dog. Let your head go and gaze between your heels. On your next inhale, high plank pose. Next breath out, back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, come forward, option for knees. Chaturanga Dandasana. This time, upward facing dog. Open the collarbones nice and broad. Downward facing dog. Let those hips lift, let the heels sink. Inhale to high. Exhale back to your downward facing dog. And then walk those feet back up to the top of your mat. You can step or hop. Half lift when you get there. Exhale, surrender over the thighs. Press through the feet, rise up, extended mountain. And then sit right into your chair pose from here. Those hips go low, reach the fingertips forward and up. Every time you breathe out, let the weight come into your heels, let the tailbone drop. Exhale, fold it forward, release that tension. Inhale, half lift. Take a giant step to the back of your mat with that left foot. Bring the left knee down. Anjali Asana. Sweep the arms up. Look up to your hands. Open through the hip flexors. Hinge forward and see if you can hook the back of that left arm to the outside of your right leg. Option to lift the left leg or keep it down. Come back through center. Inhale back to Anjali Asana. Hands to the mat. 
and then take a runner's lunge here, Ardha Hanuman, being gentle with that stubborn hamstring, breathing into the space at the back of your leg. Inhale, come forward and step it to a high plank pose. Hold the high plank, pressing your palms down, and then lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful work. Step that left foot forward, right knee kisses down. Inhale, biceps by your ears, reach up, look up. And then as you breathe out, bring the hands to heart center and twist over the left knee this time. You can always bring that right hand down to the center of your mat and take an easy twist, lifting the left arm up. Try and set your gaze up and then inhale back up into Anjali Asana. Frame the left foot as you straighten that leg. Draw the belly in and then just gently fold. No forcing or pushing. Noticing the energy that you brought with you into your practice today. Inhale, come forward, lift that back leg off the mat, take a little hop and come forward, forward fold to the top of your mat. Half left, new inhale, deep exhale, fold. Rise up, extended mountain pose, get taller than you have yet and then fold it. Pour out all your air. Halfway lift and then come sit on your bum. Boat pose, Navasana. Notice how strong your core is. Feel your sits bones rooted as you lift your heart space. Draw the tips of your shoulder blades together. Can you get taller from sits bones through crown of head? And then tip yourself forward, cross the ankles. Really well done. And we'll come into a camel pose. Bringing the palms onto your bum, like you're placing them in the pockets of your blue jeans. Open your heart. Start to walk your gaze forward and up, squeezing the elbows. Open your heart, your throat, your shoulders, and find some gratitude for all the courage you have for showing up for yourself. Gently come out of the pose. Sit back onto your heels. Take easy pose. Palms down on your thighs. Soften your eyes. Soften your jaw. Breathe. Notice the shift of energy. And we'll take it a second time, camel pose. This time you have the option to go a little bit deeper. Summon in the courage to try something new. Notice where in your life you've overcome challenges, big and small, even if it's just this pose right here. Lift the heart, keep lifting up. Take one more big breath in. And then just like you went into the pose, make your way out, sit onto your heels and take a child's pose. Beautiful work. Acknowledge your incredible body. And then come up, bring both legs around in front, remove the flesh from underneath your sits bones, shake out your legs, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reaching for knees, shins, ankles, feet, whatever you've got. If you've got a block and want to make your legs a little longer with the block, it's perfect. Take a half lift. Inhale and fold just a little bit deeper. And come up to sit. You're going to cross that right foot over your left knee. Using your right hand as a kickstand, inhale the left arm up. And then hook the back of the left arm on the outside of that right knee for a spinal twist. Call in some compassion and some gratitude for your body as it is today. Gentle counter twist over towards the left. And we'll take it to the second side, crossing the left foot flat on the mat. Using the left hand as a kickstand. Inhale to get long. Exhale, find your twist. Inhaling length from sits bones right through crown of head. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And then you'll take your counter twist over towards the right, gazing over that right shoulder and come back through center. Reaching arms forward, integrate the shoulders, shoulder blades come together and very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, make your way onto your back. Notice the weight of your body as you lie down onto the mat. 
And we'll just be here for a few more moments in Shavasana. Allow your whole self to soften. Feel your breath breathing you, nothing to hold on to, nothing to control. When you take time for yourself in this way, you can genuinely take time for the other people in your life as well. Give yourself permission to feel, to be, and when you're ready, start to wiggle fingers and toes. Roll onto your right side, letting your head rest on your arm like a pillow. Notice the shifts you've created by moving, breathing, When you're ready, press yourself up into a seated position, bringing the palms together at the center of your heart. We'll seal our practice with one big sigh out the mouth. Inhale through the nose and let it go. Touch your thumbs to your forehead center. The light in me acknowledges that that very same light in you. We bow to each other as we say, Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Have a wonderful day.